When your website is lagging, it can affect your placement in search engine rankings, make your visitors leave and never return, and can drastically hinder your conversion rates. But I'm here to give you 15 different tips that you can use to help speed up your website. Now, if you notice your website's performance is starting to lag, the first thing you should do is conduct a speed test. There are a lot of speed tests out there, and a few that you can use are GT Metrics, Pingdom, and even Google's PageSpeed Insights. It only takes a few minutes for a scan to complete, and once finished, you'll understand why your site is not performing well. If you're using GT Metrics, it even measures things like performance, structure, total blocking time, and cumulative layout shift. Using this can give you great insight into what is causing your site to load so slowly and help you fix the problem. One of the absolute best ways you can improve your site's performance is by making sure you choose the right WordPress hosting provider. There are a lot of great hosting providers out there, but one of the best on the market is SiteGround. It is one of the fastest hosting providers available due to its Google Cloud infrastructure and Nginx web server. Unlike Apache, which is still utilized on a lot of websites, Nginx has performance enhancements that make it much faster than its counterpart. Regardless of the hosting provider you choose though, be sure to check what speed enhancing features they offer before you sign up. The third tip I have for you is to optimize your core web vitals. You should definitely familiarize yourself with Google's core web vitals. I'm not gonna go through every single one, but you can check out the blog article that I'm gonna link down in the video description. It's gonna run through all of those for you so that you can better understand them. In addition to hosting, making sure you use a reputable domain name register is incredibly important. One of such options is Namecheap, who offers a premium domain name system. Premium DNS is a paid service offered by DNS providers to enhance the performance, security, and reliability of a website's domain name resolution process. Basically, DNS translates human-readable domain names into IP addresses that computers use to locate servers on the internet. Using a premium DNS can help reduce the time it takes for users' requests to be resolved, resulting in quicker load times. Another way you can speed up WordPress is by making sure you keep your site's database clean. Over time, post revisions, comments, and other orphan data can build up, which bloats your site's database and adds unnecessary bulk. To ensure a speedy, clutter-free database, consider installing a database optimization plugin such as WP Optimize. WP Optimize is an all-in-one solution for cleaning your database, compressing images, and minifying clunky CSS and JS files. Another thing you can do if you're looking for ways to speed up WordPress is by incorporating a content delivery network. A CDN is a collection of computer servers used to store website files. It typically encompasses servers worldwide, serving your website's files to visitors based on their location. Depending on your hosting provider, you may already have access to a free CDN, and most reputable ones like SiteGround offer a free CDN to their customers as part of a hosting package. Now, another tip when it comes to speeding up your site is to cache your website's files. Thankfully, with all of the excellent plugins out there available for WordPress, you can use a caching plugin, which can definitely help improve your performance. Every time a user lands on your site, the browser sends a request to your website's server to view the pages. Depending on how many images, videos, and other elements you have, that can take significant time. Most managed WordPress hosting providers will provide caching with a hosting plan, but for those who don't have the option, plugins like WP Rocket are an excellent option. With this plugin, you can boost your loading time, improve your page speed performance score, and optimize your core web vitals. Another way you can speed up your site's performance slightly is to minify CSS, JS, and HTML. Now, while it won't be a drastic difference, when you combine minification with other tips that we've given you, your site will be screaming fast in no time. When you minify your site's CSS, JavaScript, and HTML, you can reduce page loading time, making visitors in Google happy. There are several ways to go about doing this, including online tools, manually, or by using a plugin. Most speed optimization plugins out there, such as Nitro Pack, will do all the hard work for you, ensuring that your site loads fast without breaking the code. Another thing you can do to improve your performance is by enabling gzip compression. Gzip is a compression technique that reduces the size of resources like web pages, style sheets, and JavaScript files by compressing them before transmission. This minimizes data transfer, resulting in quicker load times. Now, it is no secret that images are gigantic and can take a long time to load if the files are too big. So one way to drastically improve your site speed is to optimize your images. While you can do this manually, sites with hundreds or even thousands of photos require a more practical solution. 
That being an image optimization plugin. A great option for this is EWWW Image Optimizer, which resizes your images as you upload them, removes embedded metadata, and uses lazy loading to compress your images. Also, in addition to that, it can convert the images on your site to a WP format, which will drastically reduce image file size. Now, in addition to images being gigantic, videos are even larger. So one great way you can optimize the speed of your website is to host your videos externally. Videos are great for marketing and are perfect for introducing your brand to the world. But that being said, they can kill your site speed. It's best to host videos outside of WordPress, like on YouTube, Vimeo, or Amazon S3. If you're using a theme like Divi, you can embed YouTube and Vimeo links in your design elements, but for others, you'll need a YouTube plugin. One great choice for this is Feeds for YouTube, which is a versatile WordPress YouTube plugin that allows you to embed your YouTube feeds on your website and also customize them to match your site's branding. Now, this may seem counterintuitive since we've mentioned so many different plugins today, but a great way to speed up your site is to minimize the use of unnecessary plugins. Since there are so many excellent plugins out there, it can be super easy to just download and use them all, but as a general rule, you should only use the absolutely necessary plugins at any given time. Also, in addition to that, make sure you keep your plugins updated because out-of-date plugins can lead to security vulnerabilities, which can entice hackers to do harm. And speaking of staying updated, one thing that often gets overlooked is keeping your PHP updated as well. Firstly, an outdated version of PHP can actually slow down your site significantly. And secondly, outdated PHP is just a security risk altogether. Another often overlooked aspect of WordPress is your comments. Although comments alone don't typically affect site speed, when combined with other factors, comments can be a source of sluggishness on your WordPress site. To keep comments in check, consider installing a comment plugin along with routine cleaning to ensure that your site's database isn't filled with hundreds, if not thousands of unnecessary comments. Comments. Using a plugin such as Akismet is a great way to moderate comments, engage with your users, and keep the spam out and bloat minimal. And last but certainly not least is to pick the right theme for your site. Choosing a fast WordPress theme like Divi can help speed up your WordPress significantly. You should keep a few things in mind when looking for a new theme. First of all, is it responsive? A theme that works well on any screen size is a must considering Google adopts a mobile first mentality regarding search engine rankings. Secondly, opt for a theme that offers performance enhancements through code minification, dynamic framework, and other speed boosting features. Now, I know that was a lot of tips to go through, and there are even more in that blog article I talked about, but if you utilize the techniques I talked about today, I can ensure you that your WordPress site will move faster than ever before. Hopefully you found some of the tips in this video useful to speed up your site, but before you go, make sure you like the video and let me know in the comments when's the last time you actually put thought into your site's performance, and we'll see you in the next video.